Good morning, everybody. My name is Miss Melissa. This is my wonderful assistant, Dolly, here, and we are from the Siena Branch Library. And now we're gonna move on to our American Sign Language. Each month, we teach baby a new set of signs, and then to help us remember, we put them into a song. We use the tune of, If You're Happy and You Know It. So today we are learning You're going to bring your palms together and then separate them out at the thumbs the same way you do when you open a book. Book. Book is a great sign to use when you are picking up books from our curbside service and when you're reading stories together. Okay, our next sign, super fun, is don't like. Bring your middle and ring finger together to your thumb and make a sort of drawing away motion from your chest and then flick it away. Don't like. This is a great sign to introduce to your baby when they're encountering new things and they have a negative response to it. This way they can communicate better with you what their preferences are. Gives them a sense of agency. Next sign is change. Make two fists and extend your index fingers into sort of little claw hands. They're gonna meet at the wrists and then you're just gonna swap them out. Change. This is a great sign to use when your baby is noticing that their diaper is a little full and they need to change their diaper. And our last sign is want. Bring your hands palm facing up and then curl those fingers into little claws and then draw them towards you. Want, want. Much like don't like, this is a great way for your baby to express their preferences and gives them control over their environment just a little bit. Another thing I love about sign language is it's a great way to develop those fine motor skills and to introduce new vocabulary. Okay. So remember, we're gonna put don't like, change, and want into if you're happy and you know it. If you don't like it and you know it, clap your hands. If you don't like it and you know it, clap your hands. If you don't like it and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you don't like it and you know it, clap your hands. If you need a change and you know it, clap your hands. If you need a change and you know it, clap your hands. If you need a change and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you need a change and you know it, clap your hands. If you want it and you know it, clap your hands. If you want it and you know it, clap your hands. If you want it and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you want it and you know it, clap your hands. Very good, everybody. Don't worry, we didn't forget about the sign for book. Book gets its very own song. This is Baby Has a Little Book. You are welcome to sing two verses if you want to. We are going to do one verse for the girls, one verse for the boys. And this is to the tune of London Bridge is Falling Down. Ready? Baby has a little book, little book, little book. Baby has a little book in his little hands. Baby has a little book, little book, little book. Baby has a little book in her little hands. When you're singing this song at home, instead of saying baby, use your child's name so they can really feel like you're singing to them. Sort of following on what we did with our American Sign Language earlier, expressing feelings and frustrations in a constructive way is a really great lesson to start teaching your little one, even at this age, which is why I just love that story. Also, soup. Who doesn't love soup? Okay. So we are moving on now to a bounce rhyme. You are welcome to place your baby on your knee 
or you can stretch your legs out, place them on your knees like this, and you're just going to give a bounce as we learn this rhyme. This is pumpkin, pumpkin. You now have your little pumpkin in front of you. Are you ready? Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How do you get so big and round? Once you were a seed so small, now you are a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How do you get so big and round? The baby is a pumpkin and it's growing. Get it? You get it. Okay, the other thing that I really like about this rhyme is that you can also sing it. It fits into the tune of Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So we are going to bounce and sing this time. Everybody ready? Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How'd you get so big and round? Once you were a seed so small. Now you are a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How'd you get so big and round? Yeah. You are welcome to do that as many times as you like. Maybe try it with a different tune or play with the tempo a little bit. Speed it up, slow it down, have fun with it. Speaking of having fun, props. Miss Melissa loves props, especially scarves. We've got a scarf rhyme now. I have this wonderful little play scarf. If you don't have anything like it at home, that's totally fine. Get creative. You could use a paper towel, a dishcloth, a napkin, whatever you have on hand. Just some little piece of fabric that we can play with. So our rhyme for today is one bright scarf. One, ready? One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high and wiggle it low. Shake it fast. Shake it slow. Where did it go? <laughs> Is it on your head? Okay, let's do that again. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high and wiggle it low. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Where did it go? Is it on my head this time? All behind my back? Okay, much like our previous rhyme, this one can also be set to music. All right, let's listen and see if you can pick up the melody. One bright scarf waiting for the wind to blow. Wiggle it high and wiggle it low. Shake it fast and shake it slow. Where did it go? <laughs> Again, repeat that as many times as you like. Play with the tempo and play with the music. Remember, we're here to have fun. All right, next is our counting rhyme. I've got my little counting fingers here. Dolly has her little counting fingers here. You are of course welcome to use your counting toes if that is what you want. This little counting rhyme, we're gonna be learning about sequential order. So can I see everybody's five? Whichever five their preference is. Okay, this is five little acorns. Five little acorns sitting on the ground. The first one said, I'm nice and round. The second one said, I think I'm getting fat. The third one said, I have a nice hat. The fourth one said, there's a squirrel up there. The fifth one said, I don't care. Down came the squirrel and took them all away back up to his nest, a cold winter's day. Okay, you wanna do that again? Let's use our other hand this time. Five little acorns lying on the ground. The first one said, I'm nice and round. The second one said, 
I think I'm getting fat. The third one said, I have a nice hat. The fourth one said, there's a squirrel up there. The fifth one said, I don't care. And down came the squirrel and took them all away back up to his nest for a cold winter's day. <laughs> all right, you guys, we're almost at the end of our program. We've got one last song to sing. This one is a classic. This is Rockabye Baby. So place your little one in your lap, hug them nice and tight, and we are just going to rock and sing. Rockabye Baby on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bell breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Okay, this is really fun. I actually have a second verse. You might know it and you might not. Listen and see if you like it. rock a baby, under the trees. Soft is your leaf bed and gentle the breeze. Time now to dream. Sing the stars in the sky. So sail off to sleep on my sweet lullaby. Did you like that? I hope you did. I hope you had fun today at my mother goose time. I certainly did. This is the end of our program, but please tune in next week. Bye, everyone.